Hello Heavy Metal Mainers and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am reviewing the Killstar Ravenet Pumps. But before we get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of you that already do, hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload. And welcome. So the Killstar Ravenet Pumps. These are beautiful, I have to admit. As soon as I saw them on the website, I immediately bought them. Luckily, I think they had some sort of sale on or I had a voucher or something. I never pay full price for Killstar or anything. So let's get into the review. So the Killstar Ravenet pumps. These are brushed velvet. So they are apparently 100% polyester. They are lovely and they've got lovely velvety texture. I'm having a velvet moment, as you can see. I do love velvet. It's so goth. It's the way it absorbs all the light. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's got this gorgeous T-bar strap here that goes from the bottom of the toe up to this ankle strap here that then goes beautifully around the ankle and does up with a lovely black buckle. We have the bow and skull detail here on the front of the peep toe, so a little peep toe so that you can see your little toenails poking out just a tiny bit, which is a very, very sexy, sexy look. Um, I love the bow at the front. It's, it's girly and playful, but then you've got this gorgeous little black skull in the middle here, which, I mean, it's just so cool. Love it, love it, love it. They're so black, so utterly absorb all the light black. And then they have this gorgeous, fluted heel. It reminds me of like a flu vlog heel. It's so different. It's very 90s. It reminds me of the stuff that I remember watching on the clothes show when I was a kid in the 90s. I absolutely love it. And you know what? It makes it really, really, really easy to wear. So they are a platform. It's a concealed platform. You can see here from the peep toe that there is a little platform at the front. So the front platform is 2.5 centimetres, that is one inch, and the heel at the back here is 11.5 centimetres, that is 4.3 inches. So as you can see, it's they don't flatten out. Some of these shoes, they go up like that and then they flatten out. This doesn't flatten out. It does make them super duper comfortable to wear. Now, I have worn these quite a bit. I bought them and then took them on holiday with me to Lanzarote because, you know, you've got to have a beautiful pair of girly shoes to wear with your, you know, many, many night out dresses. I've been looking for another pair of like girly heels because obviously I've got lots of new rocks. I've got lots of clumpy platforms and stuff like that, but I wanted something else for my more girly heels. I do have a pair of Kill Star heels. They again have an ankle strap. They're like a stiletto heel. They've got, the again, a little bow at the front with a pentagram. But, you know, it's, they're the only pair that I have that I can wear regularly. What I really wanted was the Iron Fist pair that they brought out years and years ago. They are velvet as well. And they had like a bat wing on here. I have been after those shoes for years and I've got a constant search on eBay looking for them. Never found them in my size, sadly, because they were absolutely beautiful. But when I saw these, I was like, they're not that shoe. They're not that shoe. But I can see them definitely filling that void in my shoe collection. And they really, really do. So because they're velvet, like I said, they you know really absorb the light. The only thing is you do need to be a little bit careful in that like here, I've slightly scuffed off, I don't know if you can see it in the light, um, I've slightly scuffed off a little bit of the, the velvet coating and there's like a little scrape there. I'll try and do a, a close up on them so that you can see where they've scraped. And I mean, I haven't worn them that many times, but they are beautiful. And of course, the thing with anything like this that's like a velvet effect, you cannot spill anything on them. I, I daren't take these out, wear these out on like a proper raucous pub night out because if anybody spills their beer on them, I'll cry. So, <laughs> you know, whereas my faux leather ones, if people spill their beer on them, I can just wash them. You know, you stick them in a bowl of hot soapy water, give them a wash down, they're okay. I think that would ruin these. I, I don't want to find out. But these are great for things like weddings, especially because this fluted heel here means that you've got quite a wide 
area that all of your weight is bearing down on whereas with a stiletto you've got all of your weight bearing down on something that's like a centimeter by a centimeter whereas because this is more like five centimeters by five centimeters it really spreads your weight much better so they are much more comfortable to wear much easier to wear when you're out um, on uneven floors things like that particularly if you're on somewhere with like a boardwalk type boulevard thing with planks because um, there's somewhere down near us that's it's all boardwalked between the slats there's holes so you basically have to spend the whole time walking on your tiptoes because if you put your weight on your heel it might slip between the slats and then you'll break your heel so they're great for that sort of thing they're really really comfortable and good to dance in the only thing i do find is where the sides come up here on the outer side of your foot so it's, a, it's maybe a couple of centimetres above where your little toe is, I do find it, it rubs a little bit. I suspect that the more I wear them and the more that they soften up, the less that that will dig in. Um, but yeah, I did find that they did dig in a little bit, but I think it's because, you know, I've worn them a bit. I've probably worn them 10 times or so, but you know, I haven't worn them 50 times. And I think when I've worn them that many times, this will have softened right down and it won't just dig in quite that much i do also have quite wide feet so i do tend to really fill shoes like this here across the top of my foot if you've got more average width feet or narrow feet you probably won't find that it will rub in the same way there if you had really wide feet you might struggle with these but i mean to be honest if you've got really wide feet sadly killstar shoes are not for you i've definitely noticed with some of their shoes that they come up very narrow um, and so if you're really above average width that you can struggle with them. So I was really pleased that I could actually get these on. I was a bit worried that I might not be able to wear them. They are super duper comfortable. The ankle strap means that they stay on really well so that they, you're really confident in them not coming off at all. You don't have to worry about walking out of them. That's the one thing I do find with, you know, girly heels like this. So they, they call them pumps, I think, don't they? Um, is that sometimes I don't feel very secure in them in that my foot, I might just step out of them when I'm walking. So having an ankle strap here means there is no danger of them coming off like that at all which is great i just i love this shape i just it's so sexy it's it's so different to anything else that's out at the moment which is really cool as well it's really nice to have something that's a bit different i get loads of compliments on them they are really really stunning and of course they go with anything that's velvet and they go with anything that's not velvet I, I also like to wear them with um like velvet accessories so like a little velvet bag that kind of thing just to sort of top and tail in in the velvet i mean what goth doesn't like a pair of velvet shoes but yeah they're really really great i really like the, the the ease of wear i really like the material that they're made of i really really like the way that they they look the silhouette on them is beautiful they just look really girly and feminine and they're beautiful because obviously you know i love a clumpy clumpy new rock boot you know great big huge clumpy new rock boot is awesome but sometimes I want to wear something that's a little more feminine sometimes I have a wedding to go to I have a couple of weddings coming up which is very exciting so um yeah I will show you my wedding outfits for those at some point as well at least one of the weddings I will definitely definitely be wearing these because they're gorgeous I really really like them they're they're just a stunning pair of shoes. My daughter desperately wants them. She's gutted that I was like, absolutely not, you're 10, you're not having a pair of shoes like this. But yeah, I did catch her quite a few times on holiday, clumping around in them. <laughs> it's all the attention to detail. The skull on the front is gorgeous. He's even got like the cranial seam here across the top of his head. There's loads of detail on him. Um, and the, it's really thick, good quality velvet. That bow is a meaty bow. It's, it's double layered, it's, it's beautiful. It's really, really nicely made. They feel lovely. I mean, unfortunately, like I said, I have scraped them a little bit, but I am really hard on shoes. I really bash shoes around. I cannot get away with shoes that are poorly constructed. They just fall to bits on me very, very quickly. So I am really, really pleased with them. This ankle strap comes up quite high as well, which, and it's got this, so look, if you see, it's shaped like that, and then it, it you've got this bit that sticks up here goes up to this ankle strap here which just keeps it securely in place there's lots of holes on there and there's room for you to make lots more as well they're very wide or very narrow ankles you can definitely put straps in so that you can make it narrower or you could put another hole in you could probably get about another three more holes on there as well so you could make it pretty wide if you have very wide ankles but I really like them I think if you want a pair of shoes that feel like a pair of stilettos but 
give you the security of knowing that your weight is a bit more evenly spread these are definitely definitely the ones for you i just i love them like i said they just remind me of those sort of flu vlog style heels which you know are five times six times seven times the price so i really really love them i mean as always i always get them in the sale i don't buy anything from killstar full price why would i there's all either a sale going on or i've got a discount voucher or both they're just so well constructed which i was kind of surprised about actually i was kind of half expecting to get them and then be like no these are really badly made and returning them because killstar's quality has been a bit mm -hmm, recently but no really really pleased with them i mean the sole have got they've got ever so slight lines just gouged in them just to give you a little bit of grip you could get some sandpaper on the the sole if you're a bit worried but the heel it's got some really good grip on there but i am hard on the heels of my shoes and it's barely worn away there at all i think they'll be quite easy to get re the heel replaced it i will let you know i may have to pop into our local timpsons and ask them if it's doable to replace the heel but i must admit the guy at our local timpsons he is a, a wizard he has repaired all sorts of shoes that when I've taken them elsewhere, they've been like, there's nothing we can do with that. And that man has repaired them. So find yourself a good shoe repair man and you will go far in life. <laughs> but yes, they are really beautiful. Like I said, everything velvet is super duper goth because it just sucks in all the light. And yeah, they're just the blackest of black, aren't they? absolutely beautiful i am really really thrilled with them i mean you can see they just look stunning they look stunning with everything i probably wouldn't wear them to the office just because i think it's a bit much but you could you know i don't think that they would look out of place if you were that kind of an office i love them they're beautiful beautiful shoes and i would definitely recommend that you get yourself a pair in the sale of course there is, of course, as always, a 10% off Killstar code down in the description. Uh, it's 10% off your first order. So you would um, either need to be your first order or use a new email address. Uh, and that will get you 10% off at Killstar. There is also a 20% off code for Kate's Clothing. But unfortunately, I just checked and they don't stock these heels, sadly. But, you know, if you want some other Killstar stuff from there, she always has Killstar stuff. And she usually has some sort of code to match Killstar's sales, by the way just to let you know that. What do you think? Do you have the Ravenette pumps by Killstar? What do you think of them? Do you have any of Killstar's heels? What are your thoughts on their heels? I know that some of the trainers and stuff, people are not such a big fan of the quality of them. And I know particularly the Creepers, people have had real problems with them, but they're all the heels that I've owned. I've always, I've had a really, really good experience with. So let me know, do you have these? Would you buy these? Are you gonna buy these now because of this review? Let me know down in the comments below. And remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and thank you to all of you that already do. Hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload. And remember people, stay heavy.